it's Tanya and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am back with a community lot for the first time in quite some time and this is actually a little cafe and bar in Delsal Valley. There is a tiny national park, I think it's called Ward Park, named after Judith Ward I assume, uh, in the um, like Starlight Boulevard section of Delsal Valley. It's kind of pointless in the middle of nowhere and I thought even though it's a small lot I'd make it into something you know functional and I did get a suggestion to make it into a bar but I really liked the idea of having it be like a cafe so what I ended up doing is it's more of like a coffee shop on the bottom floor and then it has a rooftop bar and I thought you know it mixed the best of like the day life and then the night life during the day you got to go do your acting go to your auditions all that you can grab a coffee and then after your auditions it gets a little darker out you can get a couple of drinks with your friends and so that's what we did it's much more of a modern style as far as like the structure of the building goes and then I used a mixture of different types of furniture inside and outside and I really really liked it there's a lot of outdoor dining space and I just thought this was kind of a really fun thing to do. I've been doing a lot of houses lately. That I tend to do a lot of houses. I don't do nearly as many community lots. I do want to do some more sometime soon though, but uh, it really depends on why when I'm inspired to do them and what ideas I get or what suggestions you guys leave. Be, leaves. <laughs> you guys leave because what I build is highly dependent on what sounds fun in the moment because I don't like to force myself to build anything like I'm like oh that's a cool idea but I don't want to right now so I won't do it and right now this sounded really fun I actually got quite a few suggestions and a lot of them were really cool uh, and hopefully I will keep those on my list and get to some of those in the future because we got some really cool ones let me see if I can look at them we got like girly girls house a five by five celebrity house budget family homes east code coast brownstones lighthouses that one sounds really difficult some more scandinavian inspired family homes which i love scandinavian styles particularly modern scandinavian looking uh buildings i don't think that's the suggestion though i think it was a little bit something different because i did google uh the suggestion and some like more farmhouses family homes because we don't see enough of those i think we see a lot of family homes but there will always be family homes on this channel because i absolutely love those Santa's North Pole Cottage. That sounds really cute. I will definitely be doing some winter builds. We'll see if we get the North Pole. I'm not sure if we will, but it does sound like a really cute idea. Some community lots, a cat cafe, or something from a series. See one from the originals. I don't know what the originals is. I'm just reading off of my community tab because I did ask a couple of days ago uh, for some build suggestions of things you would got, guys would like to see. And so I was looking there as well as just like on Twitter and in some of my comments on some of my videos and that's where I get a lot of my suggestions sometimes I just build things I want to build that sound fun in the moment which is why we get a lot of family homes and other stuff and then when I'm collabing with people we talk about some ideas and just kind of figure it out from there uh, but I'm always open to suggestions and so keep them coming but this is the outside of this building it's a really wonky shape but I really like it. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. And we added this sign from Dine Out. I think like the signs and stuff that we got from Dine Out and Get to Work are so pretty. And I would like more though. Like I really like them, but I, I'd like some variety for signage for my community lots. Uh, not that I do them that often, but I think it would be nice. We also used the flooring that came from Get Famous. And I did add a little bit of glass roofing up here that ends up being over the bar area on the second floor which I thought was quite cute and we do change the trim on that to white later on so this <laughs> build ends up being very brown and white on the outside and we do change that brown to a lighter brown which you should have seen in the thumbnail in the little like pan in video at the beginning of this video we're just adding some tile around the place and I do change the tile and I do change the trees to different areas and they are kind of blocking the front end of the place but I kind of wanted it to make it look like they were naturally placed and uh, I don't keep all three of these here. I end up having two ones on this side and ones on the other side of the stairs. And you can see me kind of adjusting for that now. I think it came out pretty cute. And I just really liked the idea of everything else in this area. Looks like there's carved out planters. It's like very like pavement everywhere. And then they have a planter. They're like, oh, we need to bring some vegetation here. So I really liked kind of incorporating that same idea into this build. So it kind of fit better in its surroundings. 
So inside, when you walk in, we have the beautiful cafe area. You can go order your coffee, your espresso, uh, whatever else. You, I actually haven't used this item in a really long time in gameplay. I assume you can order hot chocolate and stuff too, but I, I know all of your coffees and stuff. There's the espresso machine. And we added all these tables and chairs. I do go ahead and swap out these chairs a little bit later for some much more modern and vibrant chairs. They're brown and green. And this whole place ends up having like a brown and green color scheme, which I really, really like. I think it was much more colorful than things I've done before, but while still keeping very, very neutral, which is definitely my style. I don't like things that are too crazy and colorful, but it added the bit of color it needed because right now it feels like a little lifeless. And I had just used those chairs in another build that I'm it came out earlier this week in that industrial build so I did want to go ahead and change it up a little bit and we used this beautiful painting from cool kitchen stuff which I barely use these <laughs> these posters and paintings I don't know why I think it's because they don't come in a frame and I really wish they did because I think I'd use them more often if they were in frames of course I could you could have your sims take photos of them and then like put them in a frame <laughs> so I guess I could always do that but usually when I'm building I go ahead and just want to grab things from the catalog and not have to have like somebody come in and take photos and all of that but I know that is definitely a cool way to go ahead and get some extra artwork in your game I know a lot of people have taken photos of different artwork in the game as well as just like scenery in the game and uh, then put those photographs on the gallery so they can grab at them and I think that's a really cool way to get some extra design elements into your builds and I know at some point in time I want to do that I just haven't gotten around to it yet but we'll see what comes in time we also added a nice little tea machine over around the back counter and I move around these counters a lot because we add a bunch of debug coffee and we have a sink and just a bunch of cute accessories around the place uh, you can see me adding the debug coffee now and I move it around a lot and I barely cut out any footage in this video because it wasn't that long of a build and Usually when it's not that long, I won't cut out much footage because I like to show the whole build process because I know sometimes you guys ask for that. So if it's a short video, I try and keep in as much of the building as I possibly can. So that's what we did today. I do end up getting rid of some of those coffee bags in the end and moving them around, which you'll see momentarily because I change which... Uh, chalkboard I want to use because there's one that we got that has little coffee cups on it and like more signage for like you know what things cost and it looks more like a little coffee uh, chalkboard you might find in a local coffee shop so I really liked that so I don't think this looks like crazy like maybe like a Starbucks or a chain coffee place I think this is probably famous to Del Sol Valley which is why I named it del sol cafe and bar i thought that maybe there's just one of these but it's like the best coffee you can get in del sol valley i thought that was kind of a cool idea and i also added these studio lights upstairs by the bar i thought that looked really cool with the oh, also with the all the bottles against the glass i thought that looked really really cool and it lights up at night so we're just moving around these coffee bags as well and that's pretty much this area back here just adding a little sink I think it's really cute it's not too cluttered but it has like enough stuff there where it feels like it's being used I was gonna say lived in but this place isn't lived in it's it's well loved though I imagine this is a very very popular coffee shop and I also added this cute little statue of um well pile of books and succulents I think it looks super cute and we should be changing those chairs very soon uh, be here, this is what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, this chair would look good. And then I go through all the colors and I'm like, oh my goodness, this green one. Yes. And so I go in and delete every other chair in the, in the build and add these instead. And I just feel like it made this build come alive. This place doesn't look as like lifeless. Like I said, I feel like it just added a whole lot of personality and I have trouble adding colors sometimes to my builds because I just really love grays beiges browns whites like i just and blacks like i just want everything to be neutrals <laughs> but that pop of color i think really really helped this build so i was happy that i decided to go ahead and do that because i was feeling a little bit stuck because like i kind of liked it but it didn't feel like a coffee shop and like uh rooftop bar yet it wasn't there <laughs> but i think i figured it out i also really like that over downstairs you might have saw in between two of the windows I put a mirror so that it was in, like on one side there's three windows and on the other side there's a window a mirror and then a window and I thought that looked really nice reflecting the inside but it kind of fit really well with the curtain 
And I just think it added a little bit something to the inside. And I love adding mirrors in small spaces because it really expands the space and it looks really pretty. Although in real life, I don't like mirrors that much. I don't have like any mirrors in my house. I also don't really like windows in real life. I have one window in my apartment and I've never opened it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so dark in my apartment uh, and that's how I like it. But in The Sims, I much prefer to like have mirrors and light and I think it's kind of nice. We also ended up being able to fit in a two stall bathroom. It's kind of an awkward layout, but I thought it was important to have, uh, you know, more than one toilet in this place because there's probably gonna be a lot of Sims here at once. So we were able to fit in two and uh, one sink. So it's not the biggest bathroom, but at least two people can go at the same time. So that is definitely a good thing in my opinion. And just adding a mirror and then adding some plants around a mixture of the ones that we got with that Caribbean update and that one that I put on the front porch, which I don't remember where that one came from, but I really, really like that one as well. And then these stereos all around. So there's plenty of music playing because I imagine this place is very popular uh, both during the day and during the night. Anyway, we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this little cafe and bar build. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you did like this, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you on board. And if you click that little bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a video. Also, if you like this build and would like to download it, you can find it on The Sims 4 Gallery if you search Miss Griffey or, or Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, which is my YouTube name here. That information is also in the description down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.